Okay, we are back. Almost back. Almost back. Almost back. Okay, we're back. We're here. We did it. So now, everyone that tried to watch before had the wrong freaking thing. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I messed this up so bad. Hold on. We are learning. We're learning together right now. Hello. Okay, so I will answer all of your questions. I have my lights. I have my root beer. Um, maybe I should make them a little brighter. I'm wearing my new shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I hope everybody can find this because now the wrong link is everywhere and everybody thinks I'm dumb. But it's okay. I'm going to answer your computer. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to answer your questions from my computer so I can see them all better. I'm not sure what is good shoe means, but it's okay. All right, I'm almost there. In other news, I found this. So I can clap for myself. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Almost there. Hello, I'm not doing a trombone solo. That's for another time. I don't, I haven't played in, I don't, uh, like 10 years maybe? So, yeah, no way. <laughs> All right, questions. Wow, there's so many more on my computer. Hold on, if I don't answer your question right away, it's because I didn't see it. We need a different color light. So please don't yell at me because there's too many. All right. Mm -hmm. What did I think of Thor's 501? I feel like I knew he was going to do it. I think we all knew he was going to do it. I mean, he talked about doing it. And if you, talk, if you tell yourself you're going to do something for that long, I feel like you just have to do it. I also eat my root beer floats with a spoon. What do I think about the new Dance Cabin da Dance album? Um, I actually, actually planned this around their live AMA because that was very important. I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. Uh, I'm probably going to see them twice now on this new tour because they added um, an Orlando date that they didn't have before, which is fantastic. Um, how did I get into weightlifting? I feel like I've talked about that on every interview, every podcast, everything that I've ever done where I have speaking. I've, I have answered that one. How do I feel about the meme of Harm's Way dancing to random songs? I have not seen that one. You can send it to me. DM it to me. I would. I am interested. Do I tape my thumbs? Yes, I do. I do tape my thumbs. Um, I didn't used to, but then I don't know. I don't even know why I started, but now I literally can't go without taping them. It feels like slippery, slimy. Feels gross. How long did it take you to set up your lights? Fucking forever, but look. Ugh. They're cool. It was worth it. Um, do I enjoy training or competing more? Mm, probably, I don't know. A little bit of both. Like, competing is fun, but when you have a bad day competing really sucks. Um, so I guess I probably like training more, even though I, I die every day. Um, um, talk about my thoughts about the ROM fours. I have done that already, but I love them. I think they're amazing. I worked on them for, I think almost a year and a half. Um, I think we did four or five different updates um, that I would test, try and break essentially, and go from there. Uh, the only other Nike shoes that I'd worn were the twos, and that was pretty much my first shoe. I had like the, I think they were like VSs, and they looked like bowling shoes. Um, I had those first first, but I would only wear the twos, and now I only wear the fours. So I feel like that tells you enough, pretty much. Um, oh my gosh, there's so many questions. Um, did you 
ever cry after a bad training day? Yeah, all the time. I cry a lot. I think I'm pretty open about that. I have no... I, if, you're, if you gotta cry, you gotta cry. Like, I don't see anything wrong with it. Do I play any of the instruments? I play... Those two trombones are mine. Everything else in this room is not mine. But it's a nice looking room. And it's our office. This is like our extra office slash studio slash whatever room. Um, that's not English. Do you watch any YouTube only lifters? Um, I, not really. I watch a lot of strongman on YouTube. Watch a lot of cooking shows on YouTube. That's really it. <laughs> cooking, cooking, strongman. I like those, uh, those videos where it's like professional, this person analyzes these movies. So it's like they'll have like a professional, like a hockey player or whatever, go through all the hockey movies. I think those are great. All right, I'm going to go backwards a little bit because I missed so many. Benefits of taping your thumbs. Um, I think it's mostly just preference. It feels good. Uh, I know some people like uh, the squishy tape, so they have a lot of movement. I like the really stiff tape that doesn't move at all. Uh, so my thumb doesn't really feel like a thumb anymore. It feels like just something to hold on to. But also because I train in Florida and it's really, really hot. Um, so it helps me not be so sweaty slippery. Um, in some of your older videos, looks like your knees move around a lot in the bottom of your snatch recovery. How did you improve your stability and movement pattern? Just time, mostly. I mean, for clean and jerks, or cleans, I really did have to spend a lot of time working on my knees, because I, I was one of, one of the people who would stand up and they'd go whoop, whoop, and it was really bad. Um, so I did a lot of work basically relearning how to squat to fix that. Um, but I never even noticed it in snatch, to be honest. I do do a lot of like stability, both accessory and just regular work. So I think I think I'm a pretty like stable lifter now. But I think that just kind of came with time. Um, uh, seems like athletes are getting into streaming, gaming, vlogging, or comedy. Is that something I'd consider? I'm not. Sean told me last night I'm not funny, so comedy's out. Um, vlogging, does this if this counts as vlogging, then I'm in, but I don't think it does. Gaming, I can't play a single game. I don't, know. I don't even know what a game, I have a GameCube. That's the only gaming system I have. I guess you play stuff on the computer now. I don't know how that works. Um, why did I switch from CrossFit to weightlifting? I just didn't like CrossFit anymore. I liked weightlifting. I didn't like CrossFit. And for CrossFit, you kind of have to do both. So I knew of weightlifting, and I just liked it so much more. Hathor Bjornsson or Claire Saffitz? Claire, obviously. Is that even a question? Always Claire. Um, top three weightlifting bars? I think that means weightlifting bars. Obviously Rogue. Um, Rogue... I mean, Rogue could take all three spots because they have so many different kinds. But I've had a really, really old work sandbar that I loved a long time ago. And then the same with a really old pen lay bar that I loved. But now I'm all Rogue because it's amazing. Um, what has helped you stay more vertical in your extension, not getting behind the bar? Amy, everything that Amy programs. Um done a lot of well just a lot of not even technical work but technical focus so when I'm lifting I'm thinking about other things so instead of just like all right just gonna do this lift it's like you know I'm gonna push to the floor push all the way through my legs get all the way tall things like that a lot of pull variations too do I deal with nagging minor injuries yes I think every I don't want to say every week but there's always something that hurts like for example, like this week, my knee, for whatever reason, has been a fucker. And like, my, I've never had knee problems my entire weightlifting career. Like that's, I'm so lucky for that, knock on wood. But it'll be just like random little things. Like there's some things that'll come and go and it's always the same, but then there's like totally random things that'll just show up and I'm like, mostly just annoyed. Like obviously it hurts, but it's like, all right, how, like how many days till this one goes away so I can get back to normal training? It's, it just happens. 
um, water <laughs> or water? Water, definitely water. Do you think you'll try to get a master's at some point? Do you mean master's degree? Or like master's weightlifting? So if it's master's degree, I'm starting that in the spring. Almost there. Essentials for a new home gym, a bar. Doesn't even have to be a great bar. You can get, you can get a pretty cheap bar. Um, some plates, you don't have to go buy a full set if you're not gonna use a full set. Just get what you need. And then some sort of matting or flooring. You can get like actual flooring or you can get like the farm stall mats. Um, I mean, if you wanna be careful, you can just get like carpet and lower it down. It really depends on your budget more than anything. Um, why do some lifters kind of rock into the start of a snatch and some start settled into a squat? Um, I think I'm frozen. Uh, that's just preference. Um, it's called a dynamic start. So when you, when you get set and then you do kind of either like a butt, some people call it like a butt twitch, um, or like a rock or anything that's called a dynamic start. And that's kind of just what you like to do. Um, some people feel more comfortable getting completely set and solid and then going. Um, I personally like a dynamic start. I think my internet just went out. I don't know. If this is giving you problems, I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on in the chat. Pretty vertical back. What determines the best back position in Olympic lifting? Um, how you're built physically, like your, your levers. Um, it's preference again. I mean, you want to have, there's like an ideal back angle, but again, it comes down to preference and what feels best, what works best, things like that. Like, I don't, I hate when people ask, like, what's the best style of lifting? It's like, whatever works best for you. Like, when people are uh, asking about Chinese or Russian or American, it's like, who cares? Just pick one, figure out most efficient way to lift, and stick with it. I'm trying to get the comments back on my um, freaking... YouTube computer, but I can't, so I'm just have to read them here. Um, what do I plan to do post weightlifting? Good question. Um, I guess it depends on when I'm done. Like being a professional athlete is kind of weird because your career could end overnight or it could end in 10 years. So like I'm in school, I've been in school this whole time. Um, I'll be starting my master's soon. Um, I don't know. That's such a hard question. Like originally I wanted to do PT, but that would have been starting, uh, like this, this fall. And I'm not ready to jump into a PT program. Um, I mean, I tell, I, I feel like I should stop saying this cause people are going to hold me to it, but I would love to work for NASA, um, and help develop better exercise protocols for long space flight. Cause I think it's important and I think it's cool. It's just cool. It's so cool. But don't don't quote me on that if you find me like working in a Starbucks in 20 years because you never know. I'm open to it all. First weightlifter in space. I'm not personally going to go to space. I feel like this is my second best option because I can't go to space. How did you get into Amy's hands? Um, we knew we knew of each other. And then we officially like met last year. Um, and we, I think we like just kind of clicked right away. Like there was never really any question and I'd never really been exposed to other styles of coaching. So I didn't really know what I, what I liked the best. Cause I'd only been exposed to one thing. Um, and then from there, I mean, it's just been great. I think as, as you can see, okay, I finally got it back up on my computer. I literally lost internet. So if you heard nothing, I said, I'm sorry. Favorite gourmet makes episode. <sighs> I don't know any of the ones that are really long because when I go on there and it's like new gourmet makes 40 minutes I'm like yes if she gets it in the first shot not my favorite I love everything that she does Claire can do no wrong um walk us through a normal training day that's a really long question um as far as like what I focus on um, but there's usually a pretty specific goal or focus for each day or each session even, because there's multiple sessions in a day. Um, 
I'll do two a day. That wasn't even English. I do two a days on Monday, Wednesday, sometimes Friday. Now that I'm training at home, not so much. Um, and then single sessions, Tuesday, Saturday, Thursday, Sunday off resting, which is tomorrow. Favorite Asian food dish. I love ramen. I love ramen so much. I would die for ramen. Training for my first competition and I'm so nervous I'm going to choke. <sighs> my advice? Stop being nervous. Like, why do you have why do you have expectations for your first meet ever? I feel like you should just take away any numbers in your head, anything like that and just go and experience what it's like to compete. Feel the nerves and the anxiety and whatever comes with competing and then after the first one's over, you can have a much better idea of what to expect. And from there, be like, okay, I want to hit a PR. I want to do this and that. I think going into your first one with zero expectations is the best plan. I bombed at my first meet, so <laughs> can't take my own advice. What sports have you always wanted to try? Um, so I did track for like three or four years, and I only got to do long jump because our long jumper, like, either quit or something happened with our long jumper. So they were like, we need you to try it. And I had like a week of practice and then I competed in it once. And it was like the most fun that I've ever had. And I keep telling my fiance, like if something happens with weightlifting or if I just get tired of it, like I need to go find a track coach and try and find someone to actually teach me how to long jump so I could do it. I mean, I feel like I wouldn't be the worst. I would just have to be a little bit smaller. Um, my favorite snack? I don't know. I like those, like, bagel, not bagel, yeah, bagel, no, pretzel chips. The pretzel chips, the garlicky, garlic something one is good. Um, have you come up with an official name for Porch Cat? No. I wanted to name him something, like, really human-like, so I, I called him Kevin for a little while, but it just didn't feel right. So he's just, he's just porch cat. Triple jump? I don't want that. Um, what do you think of doping in sports? I think it's fucked up. I think there is kind of no way around it. I think we can do a better job of keeping sports clean. Do I think they could ever be 100% clean? No, because I don't think people are that honest. I mean, it kind of is what it is. I, I compete in, like, the most doped sport, so I'm very much used to it. Um, I mean, it doesn't mean it, it doesn't suck, because it sucks when you see someone compete and you're like, well, they're very obviously on drugs and I'm not, so this <laughs> is totally unfair, but it is what it is. I guess you just kind of hope that karma catches up eventually and they get caught, and that's all you can really do. Or you can report them. You can report people, if you didn't know that, uh, for USADA anyway. There's an anonymous tip line. Can't say that I haven't used that before. Um, pole vaulting? Mm, no, I'm too big for that. You need to weigh a lot less than I weigh. Um, how do I deal with criticism or attacks against you? Knowing that you can never really fully explain yourself. I mean, I feel like I get that every single day. There's no avoiding criticism when there's that many like eyes on you. So I'll have for every person who's telling me something good, there's probably about the same amount of people shitting on me or telling me like I suck or, I mean, I've heard it all at this point. There's nothing that can really surprise me, um, but that doesn't make it hurt less. Like I still get upset by it. Um, I try not to see it more than anything. I'm very good at blocking. Um, if there's anything that I see that like, even like remotely upsets me, I'll block them. And that's the end of it. Then I never have to see it, never have to think about it. Because I don't want to, like, get onto social media, see something that someone's shitting on me that is very obviously, like, just their opinion, not even true. But then I'm thinking about it the whole day. Or f for however long, going to bed at night and, like, oh, this person said that. Is that true? Like, I don't even want to waste my time with those thoughts. So I just more or less block everything that doesn't benefit me in some way, like make me happy or isn't like a cute kitten Instagram or whatever. What are the trombones? I played trombone in middle and high school. I think I was kind of good. I was decent. I'm not going to play though. 
Do you like daggers? I don't know what that means. You've said that so many times and I don't know what that means. Do I read my IG comments a lot? Yeah, I mean, just like everybody else does. I don't, like usually after like a few days, I'll never go back to it. But like people are always like, don't read your comments, don't interact with people. But like, it's my personal social media. Like, just like all of you have your own, I have my own and I want to be able to enjoy it how I want to. Like, I don't want to just post something and get off. Like, I think I'm very much like, open and genuine and a normal person on my social media. I think it's time for a color change in here. Ooh, not that color. Not blue, that's dark. Ooh. Do I skip leg day? No, every day. Favorite ice cream flavor? I'm a big fan of coffee stuff. I like coffee flavored, I like mint flavor. I like vanilla, honestly. Like a really solid vanilla. Um, what sort of wedding do you want to have? So we already planned all that. We're eloping in Iceland. Well, maybe, I guess, at this point. It was supposed to be September. Um, I already got my dress. I've not been able to get it altered at all, so who knows if it'll fit or not. Um, and it's just us two. So we have our photographer, and we'll go and we'll hike to various locations and at some point say our, you know, the stuff that you say and that's it. Wedding kind of like made me cringe a little and I feel very uncomfortable. So we just wanted to do something that was more about us than about pleasing other people. Because the wedding you put it on for everyone there to celebrate but we really want to just do something that celebrates us and is it might seem selfish to some people but it's what we want to do. And we're paying for it, so it doesn't matter. How's sourdough coming? It's okay. In the market for a new recipe. Something just tapped the window, but I'm in the second story. Anyway, do your parents approve, I assume, of the wedding? Yeah. Eloping does not necessarily mean running away anymore. And that's that's like the old definition of it, but it's not it's not a negative thing. Um, if someone has just been introduced to you, even just in social media, what's something that you want them to get from you as a whole? Uh, that I'm honest. I'm not, like, putting on a show. Whatever you see is very much who I am as a person. I don't know. That's a hard question, because I feel like everybody sees everything through a different like lens so one person could see the exact same thing the complete opposite of someone else so that, i don't have any control over that so i don't want to think about that what do you think about one-on-one -on -one online coaching for weightlifting is it worth it yeah it's basically what i do more or less um how's school it's fine <laughs> it sucks but it's fine I have I just finished this semester, so I'm done for like two weeks. And then I have, I don't know why I did this, but I asked to take extra hours for the summer semester because I don't have a good reason. So yeah, ask again in like two more weeks. Uh, what do I think about computer programming? What, like you mean like AI programming? Or like programs you get over the computer? I don't understand your question. My favorite book, I haven't read a full book in a long time. I can't, I literally can't even remember the last like full book that I read. That's embarrassing. When you're in school though, you don't really read for pleasure anymore because all of your reading that you have to do is like required. So then when you're done with that, you don't even want to read anymore. Why is UCF such a big school? Fuck if I know. Do I plan on making a handstand progression tutorial? Yes, I do. Um, when? I don't know. Because I just want to make sure it's right and it has everything. Because even when I did that live, I felt like I left out some things. Um, so if it's going to be on here forever, like I don't want to miss anything. Um, for some reason, you feel like I'd be good at exercise psych. I mean, I've taken like three exercise psych classes. Or sports psych, but you get the point. Ew. 
Um, favorite caliber pistol? I don't have any guns. Do I plan on making weightlifting videos for beginners? Probably at some point. I'm just doing whatever I feel like right now. And then eventually it'll get more organized. What am I studying in college? Exercise science. Um, have you ever watched Game Changers? I don't think so. Is that the one on Netflix? No. I have a Sean DJ set to close this out. I'm going to close it out in five minutes. So it's 30 minutes. That sounds like enough time for me. Where are my kittens? I think one's at the door if you'd like to see our special guest for the evening. Hello? Never mind. He's more interested in Sean taking a shower than me. It's fine. Are my neighbors still bothering me? I don't know. I only know who it was because I went to apologize to everybody after we got a complaint, so I don't think they would ever approach me personally. Have I gotten another complaint? No. But I've been so quiet, like so quiet. You can't, like, I don't even think you could hear it from inside my house. So there's no way that they, well, I guess they could, if they go stand outside maybe, but I don't care at this point. I've done everything I can do. Where am I originally from? Apopka, Florida. How has Amy helped your mental game? Uh, she's helped a lot. I mean, we, we go over mental things in pretty much every training session, whether like, in, it's intentional or not like she kind of coaches both the physical and the mental all like mixed together it's hard to explain kind of um do i take ped no do i well i guess i can't say do i look like it because i get that a lot but i get drug tested i think i'm the one of the most tested lifters in the sport random and in competition favorite thing to do in orlando mm. Mm -hmm. I don't really go out anymore as far as like nightlife. Well, that's a big thing here. Are you going to watch the SpaceX launch? Maybe. So I read that if you have a Tesla, you can go into like the Tesla club and watch the launches from there. So if that's actually a thing, I might do that just because that's like, that's so cool. A good show. I'm a big fan of trash TV. Um, so like Love is Blind, Too Hot to Handle forget the other ones we've watched. I really like just like shitty relationship TV. Um, is the process or the end result more important? Equally important. I know a lot of people are like, it's about the journey, not the destination. But I think it's about both, if I'm being completely honest. Um, how do I feel about the Olympics being postponed? It sucks. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, it's a whole nother year that I have to basically hold my body together. I think that's the main concern for all of us because a, a four year quad is already so hard on your body alone. So now we're adding an entire another year and for weightlifting, we have to go through at least some sort of qualification again. So it's not like we can just like coast for a year. Like it's going to I don't know. I don't know what to expect from the qualification. I'm not pumped that it was postponed. I understand why. I understand that it was necessary. It doesn't mean that I'm super pumped about it though. 2021 US track team, I would love it. Someone send me a track coach. I wanna do both. I don't think Amy would let me do both. How to get over the fear of PRs. Um, don't think about the weight on the bar. I think a lot of times that fear comes from it being attached to a specific number. <gasps> you can send me money? Who sent me five dollars? How do I get that? How do I get money from this? This is the coolest thing ever. Thank you. Wow. Anyway. Wow. Um, wow. Anyway. <laughs> I completely forgot what I was talking about. Okay, so um, don't attach the fear to a number. So if you're going, say, like 100 kilos, don't be like, okay, I'm about to do 100 kilos. And you're like, this is 80 kilos. This is routine. Like, don't stress over whatever the number or the PR or whatever it is. Um, okay, okay. Anyway, how pumped am I to walk out during the opening ceremony? 
I, I'm not speaking on anything Olympics because it is not over yet. Um, I literally, after the Arnold, um, we were talking and they're like, congratulations, like you're qualified, you're pretty much locked in at this point. And I was like, I'm not celebrating until the Olympics is over and I've already competed. And then two weeks later, they're like, oh, Olympics is postponed. Oh, we don't know if you guys have your spots anymore. I don't know anything. So I told them to send me a rock that says like, congratulations, you made the team. So it's officially written in stone. And when I receive that rock, then I will be pumped. Um, if I show my beef curtains, I'll get big donations. Literally, hold on. I have just the right thing for that. That's what's up. That's how I feel. Oh, that's that. myself. Um, gen what is the genetic for weightlifting? In terms of body proportion, shorter the better, obviously. The less height you have to get on the bar. So, like, tall people usually have to work a little bit harder. Me. That would be me. Um, shorter limbs, I think, is the more favorable. But, I mean, not to say there's not tall and long-limbed lifters. It's obviously possible to be elite and be tall. Um, it's just better to be short. Message retracted. You said something you didn't want to say. Um, what motivates me? I think I just have always been very intrinsically motivated. Like, I don't like to fail. I don't like to come short of any of my goals. So it's just that, like, it's like a, it's like a bunch of bees <laughs> in my stomach. So, like, if I'm not where I need to be, it's like, like, I got to work harder. I got to do it. I got to get there. I got to do whatever it is that I feel like I have to do even if it's like something stupid like like I have to write a paper or like clean something it's all the same um all right I think I already went over the time I said I'll answer a couple more there's three more so they have to be really good ones because some of these are getting lame um how many rest days a week I do two I do Thursday and Sunday and that won't count because I already answered that. Can you tell us about your cats and their personalities? Well, I wish they would come in here and be my special guests. Ooh. Ooh, this one. Um, Killer is the black one. He's very small. Sean got him on sale at the shelter. Um, he's our spunky boy. He's very sassy. I don't know. He's like a dog. He's very much like a, a cat dog. The other two were mine. Um, and they were both rescues, but they wouldn't get adopted because they were too shy. So it was basically my sister for literally for both of them, like a year apart was like, if you don't get this cat, it's gonna die. So of course I had to get the cat. Um, so it took me two, three weeks to pet my first, the first one, the gray one, Lou. Um, and that was when I lived in like this tiny one bedroom apartment. So we didn't really have anywhere to hide. So he kind of had to get used to me. And then the orange one, Pyros, who I hate that I named him that now because I have to see Pyros all the time. Um, he was another one who wouldn't get adopted because he was feral. Um, so it took me probably a year, a little over a year to be able to even touch him. Um, and now he's like the sweetest one. So my other two are just shy boys. My sweet boys. Clearance cat? Yeah, he was, he was literally a clearance cat. Where did I get these lights? Amazon. How do you mitigate disc bulge herniations? Um, I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to give you, like, medical advice, but I would advise working closely with a PT. Um, get all your imaging done, whatever, and work with someone that really knows one the area two dollars amazing now work with someone who really knows about your injury and then find a pt that knows like your goals uh like for for me for weightlifting i wanted to find someone who 
at least knew of the sport, I made eleven dollars. This is the coolest thing I've ever done. Okay. Anyway, just find someone who you trust, who can help you. If someone's like you can't lift anymore because you have a bulging disc, I don't think that's necessarily true. I think you should look into that um, a little bit more because I know that's a really common thing. Like I've been told that I, I can't lift anymore, but we all know I'm still lifting. You guys are sending me money and I'm, I didn't even know this was a possibility. I don't even know how to get, where does it go? Do I, if they stop drug testing for the Olympics, would you use steroids? No, I don't use them. I don't not, hold on. I don't not use them because it's not allowed. I don't use them. I think I just said that wrong. What I'm trying to say is I don't use them because of the side effects and the potential risks. And it's just not like morally, cool like for me I just I don't know I don't know how someone can take them and feel good about going to a competition and lifting and beating people who aren't on them like obviously you're gonna beat everyone I just it's just I don't understand how people can like I guess live with themselves when they do that I just it's not my thing man I don't not oh gosh all right have I ever been to Fort DeSoto? I don't think so. This is like the best part of root beer floats because it melts. Oh, there's a hair. And now it's like a creamy new drink. They should make root beer float flavored soda. Is that a thing? It's basically just like milk and root beer, but it's amazing. Have I been to Daytona? Yes, I've been to Daytona. How do I stay in a caloric surplus consistently? It's hard. I mean, it's just as much work as um, dieting, like it being in a caloric deficit. It's just effort. That's all. Um, this, is not, this is not chocolate milk. Not this time. <coughs> do I ever do seminars? Um, not currently, I will. I feel like I'm kind of just pushing that towards more of like the end of my career and hopefully I'll still be relevant by then because um, it's just not my priority right now like I want to be the best lifter I can be and traveling really affects my body and my training a lot um, so I just I don't want to add any extra travel that's literally the only reason because I do it I do enjoy doing them I've done some and it's been so much fun and I get to meet everybody and like it's so different teaching someone in person rather than like over the internet it's just fun but I don't like traveling um, all right, one more good one. So if you have a question that you're dying to ask, now's your time. Uh, these aren't good enough yet. I'm gonna save it for the best one. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna make can we be friends or what question mark my last one mm, any plans for coaching in the future so i already do coach i don't advertise it at all because i don't want to take on more than i can handle um i started with a pretty good group of of young kids they're like i think the youngest was like nine ish um and basically as that group grew up and like either progressed and went their separate ways or grew out of the sport, I haven't added anything to it. So right now I literally only have one that I still coach from down from like classes of kids. Um, I do enjoy coaching youth more than anything else. It's my favorite. Um, I used to coach toddler gymnastics. So that's where I got like my first coaching experience. And that, like, I would do that for free. Like, you don't even have to pay me. I would go do that job again. Um, just because it's so cool to teach, like, a three-year-old to do a handstand. Or, like, have some little, like, whiny kid come see you every week. And, like, you can literally watch them improve their balance and coordination and body awareness. And it's just, like, you're welcome because now you're going to be so much better at any future sport that you do. And it's amazing. Okay. Um, that is all. 
someone really wants to know if I'm going to have kids. You've asked that five times. That's an intrusive question. Um, so before, I have to show you the back of my cool shirt. Sean just got it for me. Oh, my hair. That's all. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I don't know if this stays on my YouTube forever or if it goes away. I don't know how any of this works. Um, no, it was fun. Fun thing on a Saturday, Sunday, whatever night it is in quarantine. Okay, I'm going to try and end this now. Thank you all. Oh, I missed your donation. If you donated, thank you very much. I didn't know that you could donate. Um, yeah, that was the coolest surprise that's ever happened to me. Unexpected money is the coolest thing I've ever seen. All right. Goodbye, everybody.